out of the frying pan into the fire, if not a hotter pan or pot. That's why this culture is so incredibly, uh, uh, pot, uh, what do you call it? That is why this lousy culture, see, look at how nice people look. Look at, this is as bad as the 1981 commercials got, but remember how good a grease used to smell? And look at the nice looking people, nice looking colors, and it's not this hideousness. Now, I'm uh, going to tell you that this guy, Tim Fletcher, um, I don't, I just discovered it now, but he's damn and good. Rose up Talking about safe people, blah, blah, blah. With an intense fear but listen to this. of conflict and abandonment. And one of the reasons for that is sometimes in the match families, the families Talking about the healthy loyalty support. by saying, we're here for there, nobody else out there is there for you. The As world opposed is to unhealthy. Place, so. all, all kinds but listen of to this. So if you're not loyal to the family, you're going to get screwed up big time. And so the child feels that to challenge the family or to abandon the family would put them into a terrible place. And so there's a great fear of abandonment. Okay, so there wasn't ever a place. I mean, there was always a place for us to run to if our terribly unmeshed families and unhealthy parents and siblings we had a place to run to, whether it was the smell of great shampoo, the the shopping malls where you could go look at beautiful people walking around, milling around. People watch everybody is good looking, even old and young, ever, even children and old people. No one's wearing black stretchy yoga pants all over the place. We're striding along. We're, so you see people walking with a normal pace. Uh, a normal stride of mankind, which is about five feet or so of two steps, but now you don't have that because everyone's got a cell phone in their face. Uh, where are the evolutionary biologists on this? But these are commercials from 1981. Look at the glitter of the of the of the. This is like real film, not digital. Well, actually, actually, uh, what do you call it? Now this is all quiet. I don't know why they took out James Ingram's voice here. But here's American Bounce Down, not the greatest of dancers, but here you just have some, uh, it's better than now, okay? We had a sense of humor about ourselves. People weren't so, uh, afraid to dress like Rick James if if we felt like it. And even Rick James didn't feel, uh, uh, never, uh, thank God for Rick James, man. He just dressed, I, did, I saw him riding a horse yesterday. Uh, from Buffalo, New York, man. Anyways, my point is this. What we're living in is a worldwide dysfunctional family of, of uh, unhealthy people where they guilt trip you or are trying to use all the tactics, psychological tactics, to destroy you. And they are unhealthy, but they're the ones who are the psychopaths. So take a look at that. Tim Fletcher's, all of his things about unhealthy people or whatever. There's a million things that you can learn, but he really has a good way of of uh, getting right to the chase of your traumatic upbringing and, and we need that because no one has defined it. It's only Americans who have been able to put these guys together, these, these unsung heroes, and take the psychology to the ultimate enlightenment of mankind. And, and you can include into that the um, unsurpassed happiness that, that Americans have which is which has been unforced like you might have some Eurovision contest where everybody's uh, dancing singing sure there's lots of talent around the world but do you really see what the potential that America has to offer but also the potential dangers of the unhealthy attachments but what I'm saying is when they make what he said what he just said was that these dis some dysfunctional families where they control every move you make their goal is to also say, well, look, if you displease us, you got nowhere to run. You're screwed. And that's why they're showing the frying pan into the fire. You jump out of the frying pan into the fire. They're showing all the commercials today with the most hideous of humanity acting in ways that are brutal and creepy, but you can't quite label it because you're not allowed to call it abusive now They're, because otherwise they've got the token uh, people that you're not allowed to criticize in any way. So these are the commercials. The commercials are the things that kind of depict 
um, the, the kind of people that you see outside of your family home walls, and they're not safe. So they have made it look like the world is an unsafe place. There's nowhere to go where you can actually cry out for help like this person here. I would I would probably trust this person if I saw them. There's a, what's his name, you know, Rosie Greer. If if I fell down and was bleeding, I bet you Rosie Greer would help you out. But the TV commercials that you're, they're showing you today are TV commercials full of people that if you were on the on the sidewalk bleeding, they'll dance on you and trample on your head. That's the commercials they're showing you. So you see, they're showing you out of the frying pan into the fire. That's how they're controlling you. That's how they control people. Instead of raising the bar, instead of raising the level of humanity, they are making it seem like you've got no way out. No way out. There's nowhere to go dance. Do you see anywhere where there's dance halls anymore? And don't give me the, the, the cocaine flooding or, or like, I, uh, do you see anywhere where there's anywhere to be fit unless you buy some fucking gear? Hasn't anyone watched Northern Exposure about the guy who brought all that gear to go hunting and then he ended up dead? My God! So learn to actually put things together. Put grandma's puzzle, puzzle uh, tricks and uh, crocheting and needlework needle point into your brain and learn how to to in your in your one generation one fucking fig tree generation you can light up this world or you can actually be a part of the problem by allowing the lie to continue through you by allowing them to tell you who you are by allowing them to put you in these uh, by even falsifying danger they are creating real danger so you're going to have to falsify them. You have to falsify them. 